Hello, my beautiful yogi, and welcome to practice. And today you're in for a treat. It is a very slow and gentle flow designed to release stress, to settle your nervous system, to come back to yourself, to do that full body sigh we all need. We're gonna start cross-legged, so when you're ready, join me. You can make that cross-legged seat even more comfortable by popping a block underneath your sit bones if you have it, or just a pillow. So any tension in your hip flexors can ease off, or any discomfort in your lower back can ease off, and also your spine can extend just a little easier and more naturally. Find a position with your hands on your legs that feel, feels like a position that really allows your shoulders to drop. So maybe hands in a little closer can help for that. And then see what feels more natural for you today, palms down or palms having up. When you feel ready, close your eyelids down to take away the biggest distraction out there, our eyesight. And by closing our eyelids down, feel how the back of the eyes start to open and to be free up capacity to actually see ourselves, see our inside world. And Let's then begin to ret retreat back into that inside world as well. Often we seek answers or magic outside of our body when in reality it is inside of us all the time along. Coming back to that. Allowing yourself to ground your mind into the body and feel how this helps to slow down the constant thought formation that is streaming in. And you feel how breathing thoughts of the mind into the body allows those thoughts to transform into emotions, energy in motion. And with that, we can process them give them maybe less power, or eventually maybe even getting rid of them completely. Sit here just for one more breath. Full body, exhale out. You can keep your eyes closed if you feel comfortable with that. Now, grab your knees, cup your knees with your hands. Come into your first cow stretch, pushing the stomach forward, lifting the heart up, lifting the sit bones to the back of the room, maybe Just gently lifting the third eye up towards the sky with an exhale out, round, drop your front body into your back body. Magnetize tip of the nose towards your pubic bone, but feel how your shoulder blades are gliding apart at the same time. Inhale again to lift. Exhale again to round. Come then back to a neutral seat here. And roll your head, tip your right ear over to your right shoulder, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder, and then come back through center to the top. Switch directions, left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder, and then through your center, come back straight up. Two more rounds, coming back over to the other side again. And if you wanna extend that head roll and Add in some shoulders and shoulder girdle if you feel free to do so. One more circle over the opposite way. Come and then back to center. Stay here. Tip your right ear over to your right shoulder once more. Your left hand slides off the body and goes over to the left side. You might touch the ground, maybe not, but try to create a straight line from your left earlobe all the way down into your left fingertips. Have your lips slightly separated. Try not to fight the pull. Keep your jaw relaxed. Breathe into your left neck. And if it's not a distraction, but really distraction, but really help, helps you to go deeper, feel free to move the head again gently around to also get into the front of the neck and into the back of your neck. Then release by rolling chin back down towards chest. Lift head back on top of the spine and then also your arms over your head. Interlacing the fingers and placing the hands against the back of the head. 
Knot your head back down towards your chest. Allow your upper back and your midsection of the back to round. And then just feel how the weight of your arms alone bringing extension to the neck, to the space between your shoulder blades. And this might even glide all the way down along your spine. It might even feel like Chinese burn, you know, when you have tiger balm and you wrap it on and your body starts to respond and to react and it's that sense of heat and cold at the same time. Find your way back out of it again. Let's switch sides. So left hand on your lap, right hand to the side. And then your left ear goes down towards your left shoulder. First trying to get a long line from your right fingertips all the way up towards your right earlobe. Watch that left shoulder too. No need to shrug it up. Sometimes that happens. Let it just drop away from your ear. Have your face relaxed. Maybe a gap between your lips and your teeth. And then decide if you want to add in some movement, but be true to yourself. Is it really movement that helps you to go deeper or is it movement that kind of takes away from the intensity? And stay in here for one more breath. And then let your chin again roll down towards your chest. Take the tension, the strain out of that arm. Lift head back on top of your spine. Lift arms over your head. Taking a deep breath in. Interlace your fingers, place them behind your head. This time, stay upright though. And you can pull or push yourself even to more length by giving pressure into the hands and vice versa. Draw your navel towards your spine. Keep your ribs together. Lean over towards the right side. Right elbow goes down towards earth. Left elbow stays up maybe even slightly backwards. You can rotate slightly upwards by scooping the right side of the ribcage from underneath up, leaning the left elbow backwards. Come back out of it through center. Inhale. Let's lean over to the other side. And as much as you lean, can you feel how there's like an inflation into the right side of your ribcage now? And then push this open, open to the side. Stay here for one more breath. And then reset and come back to center, leaning over to the right side once more. Same sensation here, rib cage presses up towards the sky, but this time support yourself and let that right hand come down to earth. But there's hardly any weight in it, it's just there to support. Catching another breath and with that really rotating, spiraling now, the chest up towards the sky. With an exhale out, let that left elbow come down towards your right knee, rotating in. And then release again, inhale, lift that left elbow up, 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 up squeezing so gently that breath back out as you rotate around the spine, bringing left elbow down to the right knee. And then one more time, inhale, lift up high, high, high. Mm, exhale to rotate. Come back to neutral, inhale, and come all the way out. Let's switch to the other side. So both hands behind your head first. Inhale to extend, lean over to the left side. Stay grounded through your right sit bone. Let your left hand come down towards earth, but don't give too much weight into it. Catch your breath at the bottom of your pelvis and start to turn your chest open towards the ceiling. With an exhale out, bring right elbow down towards left knee. Inhale to come back up again. Turn your chest open, open, open. Oh, maybe every time around you unlock another a new range, another little pocket door you can lean into. Last one, exhale, rotate, and then reset and come just up one more time. Beautiful. Lift yourself back out of it. <sighs> Let your hands come back down in front of you. We're going to meet on all four, so if this is available for you to come over your cross-legged seat, come ahead and do that or any other way. Stack then your shoulders on top of your wrists and your hips on top of your knees. Allow your spine to fully extend. Find another cow stretch, letting the stomach drop, lifting the ground up high, lifting the sit bones up high. Feel how there's engagement on the back of your body, and this gives you even more freedom in the front of the body. With an exhale out, start to round, pupil bone, tip of the nose, move towards another. Again, feeling how the shoulder blades also glide apart, so it's not just a linear movement up and down, but also across the back. Inhale, coming back into your cow stretch. Exhale. Finding your cat stretch here. And then release and come back into a neutral position. Keep your hips on top of your knees and walk your hands out to the front of the yoga mat to come into extended puppy pose. You have time here. You don't have to go super deep and low right away. Maybe starting with the forehead and maybe even staying there forever. Sometimes the feet come a little loose and light. Stay anchored down through the top of the feet as well. 
start to widen your sit bones more and more to the sides and allow your pelvis to tilt forward. Keep your belly button drawn towards your spine. So even though we drop into a controlled lower back, there is support from underneath from that belly button. Lifting the pelvic floor still towards the top of the head. And then see if you can walk your hands even if a little further out and away. It's at the same time, the outer hips are pulling the opposite way. So that feels like an internal strain opening. And then check again. Is there maybe more room to drop your heart into? Can you go even lower? If that's the case, you're free, or if it would feel nice to come onto the chin rather than being on the forehead. Infuse your breath and move away from any outer alignment and drift towards that inner alignment, alignment really feeling it. Stay here for two more. Just one more. And then activate again all those muscles along your front line, hug them into the back line, and drift forward. So your thighs come down to the floor, your hips come down to the floor, bend your elbows and let them land underneath your shoulders. Feet maybe a little closer towards another, so they sit only hip width distance apart. Push the top of the feet into the ground. Lift those kneecaps off the floor and then roll your shoulder heads back and feel how this waves your heart forward and upwards. Feel how the engagement through all those muscles along your backside kind of busts open, tightness, locked energy channels. <laughs> so it really goes hand in hand, like contracting or activating does not necessarily mean taking away or creating compression. It always brings space to as long as we work consciously. Be here for one more breath. And then release, let you just come back down to the floor, pull your hands back by your ribs. Drift back, come into a child's pose, keeping the knees just hip width distance apart. Here's the sit back, 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 back. Infuse for another breath. And then round your way again up on your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes under. Let's find our first downward facing dog of the day. Let it be a lazy down dog, which means maybe the knees are bent. <laughs> sit bones are facing up the way. Maybe little wiggles in those hips, head is relaxed. All of your hands grounded, drinking in earth energy along your arms up towards the pelvis. Be here for one more breath. And connect your toes at the end of the yoga mat, free your right leg and reach up with your toes towards the ceiling. Try to keep your hips level and beside each other. From your highest point, curl your right knee in. Spread those shoulder plates like in your cat stretch and then step right foot through between your hands. Come down onto your left knee, sweep your arms back and around, low lunge. Stay upright, interlace your fingers above your head. Turn those palms up. Hands are pulling backwards, keep your pelvis neutral. Hips are thrusting forward and then lean over towards your left side. And be here for one more breath. And then drop over the right outside, back down towards the floor, framing your right knee. Wonderful. Tuck your left toes under, lift that left knee off the floor. Step to the front, left foot meets your right foot. Find your ragdoll here, just hanging over your legs for a second. And as you do so, lean more and more into your toes and get that extension into your legs. Let your hands come back down to the floor for your right foot and step it right through to the end of the yoga mat. Drop your right knee down. Sweep your arms back and around, come up nice and tall, inhale. Interlace your fingers, press them up towards the sky. If you want, have the other thumb on top this time, firm your butt, push your hips forward. Reach with your arms backwards and then lean over towards that left side. Breathing into the right side body. Be here for one more breath. And then over the outside of your left leg, come back down, framing your left foot. Beautiful. Tuck your right toes under, lift that right knee off the floor, step again to the front, coming into another forward fold here, the front of the yoga mat. Have your left toes in, left, in front of your left foot, bend your left knee, and then open your chest to the right side, turn your chest open, feel the rotation, traveling all the way up and down along your spine. Be here for one more breath. Release, coming back through center, switching over to the other side. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight. As you reach up, 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 even the stomach starts to turn to the side. And a reset and come back down. 
You can lift your heels off the floor, lean into your toes, finding your cosmic X sitting down here on your heels, shoulders on top of your hips. Sit nice and tall, hands can come maybe up in front of you, and then find your way onto your bottom. So hands can assist and help if this is needed, or maybe you can just find your way here. Then place your hands behind you so you can position yourself on the yoga mat with your left chin going across and the right leg going all the way around. You might want to shuffle a little more to the left side on the yoga mat so that right leg is actually supported. You will figure out for yourself if you enjoy having the right knee a little further forward or a little further back, which gets more into that right hip. You do you. One thing we want to pay attention to, though, is that we're not leaning back and we're sitting on our tailbone or our sacrum also. We want to lift ourselves up and tip ourselves over. So if that means the knee has to come a little further forward, please go for it. Have your chest faced forward and your um, stomach faced forward. And then walk your hands out and see if you can just come into a more restorative setup here. Stay here for two more breaths. I'm trying to square stomach and shoulders down as much as possible. And then stay where you are and see if you can flex that right foot. Keep that right knee grounded, but see if you can lift the right foot up towards the sky to a point where the bottom of the foot is kind of facing up the way, but without helping with the hand. Come back down, stay dynamic, lift up, up, and come back down. Just two more here, rotating through that right inside thigh. One more here, lifting up, up, up high, and then raise. Beautiful, find your way back into an upright position. Bring that left knee a little more centered and then step that right foot over and across to the outside of your left knee and twist the opposite way. Have your spine nice and extended, but also try to stay in your plumb line. So don't lean away from the knee, pull yourself in and then twist and spire your way up from here. Be here for one more breath. Arm twist, free your right leg and bring it all the way around to the end of the yoga mat so you will be sidewise with your left knee still being bent and that right leg still being straight. Bring your arms over your head, take a deep breath in and then lean over your right leg and come into another side body bend. Left elbow bends, place the left hand against the back of your head. Turn that left elbow up again, like earlier at the very beginning. Feel how you can actively spiral the right side of your ribcage up as well. So it really isolates that QL stretch, creating space between your hips and your ribs. Stay with me for another two. One more breath. And find your way back out, sitting nice and tall. Let's switch our side. So if you want, you can flip your yoga mat, bending that right leg in front of you, and then it's your left leg that comes sideways. That hip might need a different setup. Again, you decide how far or how low you want to have that left knee, but manage to lift yourself out of that left hip. So you grab it, you push it forward, and you tilt it, tip it over. Then find a more restorative setup here. If your right heel wants to slide a little further down underneath your pelvis, that's totally fine. Allow it to happen. Be here with me for one more breath. And then flex your left foot. Align that foot more with the knee. Push into the left knee and see if you can rotate that left foot up towards the sky. Yes, that's it. Reset, come back down. And then lift again, up, up, high, high, high. Reset and come back down. Let's go for another two through here. Lifting, placing it back down. Just one more, up, 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 up. Wonderful. 
You can come back up, shoulders on top of your hips. Bring your right knee just a little more centered and then step your left leg over and across to the outside. Imagine your left arm behind you is like a pole. You can extend your spine up again. So have that hands a little further in maybe than you think you should. That you really feel like the arm is pushing into the ribs and oh, with that you get that extra elevation. Do you feel that? Wonderful. Be here for one more breath. And let's just go of that twist, but we eventually open back up to the side, but we bring that left leg with us. Left leg is straight, pull your right heel in so it sits in the center of your pelvis. Extend your spine without losing the connection of both of your sit bones, and then come into your side bend over your left leg. Right elbow bends, so hand is placed against the back of the head, and then feel how your Whole torso starts to spiral up towards the sky. Wave the left side of your ribcage up towards the ceiling as you drop more and more down over that left leg. And stay here for another two breaths. Oof. And then come slowly back out of it. Beautiful. We're going to turn back again to our original front the yoga mat. I spun around halfway through, so mine is switched, but yours still should be the same. And then create as much length and distance between your heels and your sit bones as you can by walking the butt away from your heels, flexing the feet, and maybe grab your bum, <laughs> your bum cheeks and pull them the hardest bar to come into forward fold. Feel free to have your knees bent, but there's that extension starting at the very bottom where the spine connects with the pelvis. From here, we want to reach out. Have your face soft. Have your back of your neck relaxed as you drop over your legs. Two more here. Just one more breath here. And then feel free to stay forward folded kind of as you release your spine down to the floor. So instead of coming upright, just stay banana bend as you find a slow release down towards earth. Once your head and your shoulders are grounded as well, walk your feet back in towards your hips, one after the other, and then lift one knee after the other up into your chest. Coming into heavy, pay, heavy baby pose from here, from the inside of your knees, catch your ankles, open your knees into 90 degrees. Lift that head off the floor once more, extend through the back of the neck. Find heaviness and anchorage through your sacrum. Maybe slide air bubble underneath your lumbar spine. And then melt into that hip opener. And using your breath as you find more depth through it. Just a little, with the back of the eyes open to really witness and see what's going on inside of you. Let's be here for another four. Last two breaths. Placing the bottom of the feet back together, letting go of them completely, and then slide into your Shavasana, reaching for the corners with your feet, reaching for the corners with your shoulders, allowing your arms to stretch out, setting yourself up as comfortable as possible, melting over the floor, being brave and leaving the borders of the yoga mat, eventually also leaving the borders of your body, feeling how you become one with the space around you. And without losing the connection with your true self, with your core, feeling how you can
can exist as beautiful as you are in the space around you as you become one with it. There's no need to play any roles, to change, to pretend something you're not. here for much, much longer. Enjoy your own company. Enjoy the absence of noise and disturbance. And I'll see you soon again on the yoga mat. Thank you and namaste.